everyone youtube channel drs maths welcomes you all today we are going to discuss about the central tendency which is a topic of statistics but before starting the topic i would like to request you to subscribe the youtube channel drs maths as well as follow the drs maths at an academy if you have not followed till now and if you like this video please share this video to each and every friend of yours if you have any doubt any query please write us in the comment box we will like to resolve your doubts your uh, queries now let us start the topic central tendency this is a very important topic of the statistics what is central tendency in stats a central tendency is a central or typical value for a probability distribution probability distribution means suppose we have something and we want to distribute it to the a large group of people or we want to distribute something among some peoples then what is the maximum value around which the distribution is done that center that value is known as the central value in other way it can also be defined as a center or a location of distribution that is also known as the central tendency or we can also define it as a measure of central tendency is a single value that attempts to describe a set of data by identifying the central position within that set of data this is also known as central tendency right the most common measures of central tendencies are the arithmetic mean which is also known as mean or average arithmetic mean or mean or average the most common tendencies are most common measures of central tendency are arithmetic mean mean average the median and the mode right that is basically these three things we have to study in this so today we are going to start about the arithmetic mean or mean or average generally in these three names this topic you will study the symbol of mean or arithmetic mean or average is capital x bar or it is small x bar it's it is calculated as sum of all the observations sum of all the values sum of all the data given divided by the number of all values number of all observations number of all data given right this is the way to calculate the average arithmetic mean or the mean for example let us see the marks of ankit in five subjects are 55 60 50 75 45 find the mean marks of the ankit the options are 53 55 57 58 what is the way to calculate add on all five divided by 5 the same we have did that is mean that is x bar is equal to 55 plus 60 plus 50 plus 75 plus 45 by 5 if you are going to adding it all you will get what 285 by 5 then it is 55 the 25 335 57 the 35 that is the average or the mean value of the marks of the ankit is 57 if you want to add it you can add that is 70 40 kit that is 110 plus 55 10 this is 120 120 plus 60 that is 180 180 plus 50 that is 230 230 plus 55 that is 285 simple next thing this mean is also calculated in this form also let us see this is the question the question is find the mean of 25 15 23 40 27 25 23 and 42 these are the values for which we have to calculate the mean to calculate the mean the simple way take the addition of all the values and divide by their number so first of all i have written 25 plus 15 40 40 23 63 63 40 103 103 27 130 130 25 that is 155 155 plus 20 that is 175 plus 378 280 plus 4 220 divided by the number of data 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 that is all sum total sum is 220 and the number of data is 8 so 220 divided by 8 gives us that value so 220 by 8 is it is 27.5 this is the mean next thing is sometimes they are giving you the value in this form and they are asking for the mean so the only way to take the addition of all the numbers and divide that sum the total by the numbers of the data next thing is you are going to get the this frequency distribution table and on the basis of this they are going to ask the mean 
what it means what is the meaning of this table and then we will come to the calculation of it age in years that is age of six years five years seven years and two years frequency that is one two four six what it means six appears one times five appears two times seven appears four times two appears three times that is the data which we have in that six one times five two times seven four times and two is three times for calculation of the mean what is the way six one just six that is multiply the value to its frequency five two times means five plus five that is ten or directly multiply five into two that is five two times ten seven four times added or seven into four that is twenty eight two added three times or two three just six simple so this is the way is what the frequency multiplied by value frequency multiplied by its respective value and take the sum of all such products divided by sum of all frequency because frequency gives us the number that is the number of data 6 1 times 5 2 times 7 4 times 2 3 times so the total number of data is 2 1 3 plus 4 7 plus 3 10 that is the total product sum divided by the sum of all frequency it is generally written as summation of frequency into value divided by summation of frequency this is the symbol of sum or summation. So you are going to multiply it 6 1 is 6, 5 2 is 10, 7 4 is 28, 2 3 is 6. Simple. Take the addition of all divided by sum of all frequency that is 10. After adding it we are going to get 50. How? It is 6 plus 10 16, 16 plus 6 22, 22 plus 28 that is 50, 50 by 10 and after simplification we are getting the mean is 5. This is the way to calculate the frequency distribution table. There is the another question of this type which is of the group data that is find the mean of the different age groups. What is age group is 10 to 25, 25 to 40, 40 to 40, 55, 55 to 70, 70 to 85, 85 to 100. This is the age groups. And the number of people between 10 to 25 age group is 3, 25 to 40 age group is 11, 40 to 55 years age group is 10, 55 to 70 years age group are 8, 70 to 85 age groups are 6, 85 to 100 are 2. When you are have the grouped data, you just made a table like this. In this table, what we have, the first column is of the groups, second column of the frequency, then next column is of the class mark. I have told in the first lecture that how you are going to calculate the class mark. For the class mark, we have to add the, both the value and divide it by 2. So 10 plus 25, 35 by 2, 17.5. 25 plus 40, that is what? 65.5, it is 32.5. Similarly, just add the, both the value and take its half. You are going to get this values, right? Number of peoples, you just write down 3, 11, 10, 8, 6, 2. Take the summation of all, that is the summation of all frequency, which is 40. Now the next thing is what which we are doing here in this question that is frequency multiplied to the value the same we are doing here that is frequency multiplied to the class mark because group this is a range and we cannot multiply a frequency to the range so for that particular value we are calculating class mark now this class mark is considered as value for this group right and so we are going to multiply this frequency f to this value respective value x so 17.5 into 3 it is 52.5 32.5 into 11 it is 30 357.5 10 into 47.5 it is 475 8 into 62.5 is 500 6 into 77.5 it is 465 this is not 0 0.6 this is 6 okay and this is 2 into 92.5 it becomes 185 after that if we are going for the addition 5 plus 5 0 carries 1 7 to 9 5 plus 5 10 that is 19 5 24 plus 1 25 5 carries 2 3 or oh, carries 2 5 5 10 17 17 plus 6 23 8 21 plus 2 uh, 8 uh, 31 plus 2 that is 33 carry forward is 3 3 plus 3 6 plus 4 10 plus 5 15 plus 4 19 120 so the total sum of the value is 20 to 35 so this is the way to calculate groups take the class marks multiply class mark to its respective frequency you are having the total sum take the summation fx that is sum of all data take the sum of all frequency the sum of all data divided by sum of all frequency gives you the mean that is mean x bar is equal to summation of fx by summation of f that is 2030 divided by 40 
just because of what the point after one digit divided by four four fives are twenty then it is zero then again it is uh, three point thirty four eights are After zero, it is five, uh, five point. It is thirty five. Four eight is thirty two. Then it is three thirty. Four seven is twenty eight. Then two twenty. Four five is twenty. So the mean is fifty point eight seven five. Now the next way to calculate. Suppose these values are larger, and after the multiplication, we are having a huge value. So to simplify this one, there is another method in which we are going to assume a mean, right? So what we will do that is. In out of these class mark, as the number of data is even, that is three plus three six. So in this case, we can take mean assumed a value as a mean in mid of these to anyone. Whenever we are having the odd number of data, just take the mid value as a mean. Right? You are free to take mean anyone, but we just try to take the mid value. Here we have taken forty seven point five as a assumed mean. Suppose this is assumed mean, then we are going to take To calculate the d, d is what the difference of value to the assumed mean. Assumed mean is forty seven point five. So forty seven point five minus forty seven point five value is zero. Subtract this value from the previous one. Thirty two point five minus forty seven point five gives minus fifteen. When it is subtracted from this value, it gives minus thirty. Same forty seven point five minus forty seven point five zero. Again, it is subtracted through the Proceeding values to the sixty-two point five minus forty-seven point five gives plus fifteen. This minus this gives plus thirty. This minus this gives plus forty-five. Right? These are the values. Again, what we will calculate? We are going to calculate u. U is what this d. That is this difference of assumed mean to the values to the assumed mean is divided by the group length. That is width of the group. The width of the group is what? This is. 10 to 25 that is 15 so divide all the values by 15 to minus 30 gives minus 2 minus 15 gives minus 1 0 as it is 0 plus 15 plus 1 plus 30 plus 2 plus 45 is plus 3 right then what now what we will do just multiply this u to frequency that is f into u so this 3 multiplied to minus 2 that is 6 minus 6 11 multiplied to minus 1 that is minus 11 Ten multiplied to zero gives zero. Eight multiplied to one gives eight. Six multiplied to two gives twelve. Two multiplied to three gives six. Right now, take the addition of all these. So above zero, all the values are negative. Below zero, all the values are positive. So negatives are minus seventeen, and positives are twenty-six. So twenty-six minus seventeen gives nine. Clear? Sorry, what it is? It twelve eight twenty plus six. It is twenty six, and here it is seventeen, right? So twenty six minus seventeen gives you nine plus nine. So what? How it is calculated? What we have did in the table? The just opposite we will do. We have taken product of f and u. So the mean will be summation of f i u i divided by summation of frequency. Since it is divided by h, so it will be multiplied by h. Since it is subtracted by a, so a will be added. So the formula will be mean x bar is equal to a, which is subtracted here. It is added plus summation of f i u i by summation of f divided by h, so multiplied by h. Assumed mean is forty seven point five plus f i u i. If here it is, this value is positive, so we are going to take it as plus. If this value will be negative, then we are going to take it as minus. So it is plus. What is nine divided by summation of frequency? That is forty multiplied by h. That is that there it is divided. Here it is multiplied by fifteen. Simplify it. Five three is a five eight is a nine three is a twenty seven divided by eight. When twenty seven divided by eight, it gives you three point three seven five. And it is forty-seven point five. So adding forty-seven point five to three point three seven five gives you fifty point eight seven five. So this is the way to calculate the mean. So there are three types of questions. The direct values are given. Just add them, divide them by the number of digits. It will give you the mean. The value given in this form, that is ungrouped form. In this form, you can calculate the mean by this way. And if it is in the grouped form, then in the grouped form, there are the two methods to calculate the mean. This one and the assumed mean method. I hope this will help you to calculate the mean at any standard of the examination at any level. Thank you so much for watching this video. Continue, please keep on watching the videos by DRS Maths at YouTube as well as an Academy. Thank you so much. We will meet in the next video.